Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to speak out once again against the sequestration caused furloughs that are punishing workers who I represent in Illinois. Sequestration cuts were designed to be so painful and terrible that they would never even take place. But this week, they will begin unnecessarily hurting working families across the country. I have repeatedly called on the Defense Department to use flexibility that Congress gave it without resorting to furloughs. As I travel around my district of Illinois, I hear story after story of families who are impacted by these cuts. People like Tom and Michelle Vetter, who both work at the Rock Island Arsenal and will see a 30 percent cut in their expected income. They now fear being able to pay their mortgage and even sending their son to college. And people like Darlene Nimmers, who has worked at the Rock Island Arsenal for more than three decades, who now worries about having to put off her well-deserved retirement. We need to get our fiscal house in order, there's no doubt about that, but it should not be at the expense and the jobs of our hardworking citizens and their ability, ability to support their families. Please let's come together to cut spending without harming our nation's economy and our workers. Mr. Speaker, I yield back. Thank you.